All right, so now turn away from Judge. Mm. We're done with that for a while. I want to talk to you about Contreras. You know, we went through this whole 10 days of the Cardinals saying he's yeah. not going to catch and everything else. And finally, Jack Flaherty basically said, he's catching me. And, okay, they want, he wants him to catch him, we'll let him. Well, he caught a shutout, basically, most of the game yeah, last Yeah, he, he, he had a great game yesterday, you know, and did a really good job with Flaherty yesterday. With, and, and he even talked about he, he, th he, he didn't shake him off one time, maybe one time if that, uh, that they were on the same page. Look, it, it, was, it was a strange situation, um, and I think the Cardinals were really just trying to kind of get out of, ahead of it, knowing that he wasn't going to be catching for a few days, and instead of having to a answer questions after they were trying to kind of control that narrative before, yeah. and it just didn't seem right because, you know, he was their big free agent guy coming in. Yeah. The big thing is, like, the Cardinal situation is a lot different than most teams when they're bringing in a free agent catcher, usually. They had Yadi Molina. Before that, they had Mike Matheny. Guys, catchers that really dove in and really controlled not just the pitching staff, but also the preparation that went into it. Mm. Now, and Wilson, you know, He's of that new, new, new school of catchers where they're coming in. And yeah, they're giving they you the They're giving that information. They're giving a lot more information as so opposed to doing a lot of that homework. Well, they went, he can't process all the stuff we're giving him. Well, that, uh, well, I think it was a little give and take by both. You know, like, you know, Wilson has to go in there with, you know, an open mind as far as, like, what, you know, St. Louis wants, wants me to, to do to, to, to accomplish what they want on the field. At the same time, St. Louis also has to adjust to him as a player. You know what kind of player you're getting on, getting on and what kind of help he needs in order to be successful out on the field. And nothing breeds that confidence in that relationship with a pitcher than having success right away. So that game well, yesterday and, and with Flaherty was spring training huge. is spring training. Yeah. It, you you got to do this during the season. And, and the other thing that – You only get so much out of spring training. Yeah, yeah. and the other thing I thought about too was – He's coming from the same division. So he might pitch Christian Yelich different than they pitch Christian Yelich. Well, Yellis. different pitchers. Yes. You're, it just depends who you got on the mound. And those relationships take time to form. A lot of that legwork happens in spring training. But until you actually get out on the field and you start to have that su success in the field, it's hard to build that confidence. Yeah. So, you, I mean, that, that's really what it comes down to. Overblown? I think so. I think so. I mean, and, and in order for the Cardinals to win and get to the playoffs, and they know this too, he needs to be behind the plate. Yeah, he's got to play. I, I, that was a crazy scenario. We'll see how long it goes on. Adnan, back to you.